welcome to the second part of this mystery unboxing, which is half a mystery for me and half not. Um, we'll continue going through this box and we'll see what we can find. First cab off the rank is this picture. I don't know anything about this. I'm guessing that it's a print, a copy of a known painting. I might have to look that up if you know what it is. Please let me know in the comments. I would say that it has not been taken out of its frame before and it's possibly something that my Nana picked up. If you saw the last video, um, she travelled overseas in 1948 um, and also at some point in the 80s-ish. Uh, so this is probably something that she picked up as a souvenir from somewhere. My Nana was really good with um, putting notes and labels on everything as to where she got it, where it's from, dolls, what she called them, you know, those sorts of things. That's probably not something that's worthwhile listing online because I don't think that it's actually anything in particular. I could be wrong, maybe you will let me know. But that might be a garage sale item. I saw this little jewellery box and I thought, oh, I wonder what that is. And why am I getting rid of it? Because I keep all of my Nana's jewellery. But it is a cufflink and it's only one. I don't know what's happened to the second. So I'm not really sure what to do with that. Maybe I could throw that in as a freebie with something else that's sort of broken or mismatched or something. There are people who do craft projects with things like this. And if they can pick it up cheap enough, I mean, it's great to work with. It's pretty. I think it's got a um, mother of pearl, is that what it's called? Um, piece in the center. It is quite nice. It is pretty. It would be nice to work with as a, an arts project, but it's not worth very much as a single cufflink. So, probably not worth selling online, might chuck it in with something else as a, an extra. Probably not in the box though, because that would take up a fair bit of space unnecessarily. Dutch clock. No damage to it, but it does have a name. It's J E I F, and then I think it's a T after that. But this is a nice little trinket, this might be worth a couple of dollars. Maybe. We'll see what this name means, because that could be the make or break. Sticking with the Dutch theme, I have got a thimble. A Dutch thimble, which um, I, I think it's just a, a vintage souvenir piece. That's the back of it top, the bottom. This is just a bit of sticky stuff that's stuck to the bottom of it. Perhaps it was stuck down to something at some point in time, I don't know. But that might be nice as a, as a little gift or something. Maybe I could do a collection of small Dutch things. Maybe I could put the thimble and the, the clog together. I've probably got some other things to put aside with it as well. Ooh! And another thimble, a dream world thimble. Your one day holiday. I imagine that this is a vintage piece as well, but I don't know that my Nana ever went to dream world. I, in fact, I don't know anyone who has been to dream world. So, oh, it's the Gold Coast Australia dream world. That narrows it down a bit. Maybe this is worth something as a collector's piece. I'll have to do some research on that because I don't know. Oh, 
And that's what we got. Ah, I have got a pair of swans. Unfortunately, both of these look like they are damaged. This one, some of the painting is coming off here on the face and just down here on the side, just there. It has some crazing. I would say that these are actually old. Norlene's Japan. That gives me something else to research because I don't know what that is. But it looks like they both have the sticker. So I will do some research. This one, unfortunately, is even more sad looking. It's missing quite a bit along the side there. If I were out buying things, I would definitely not pick these up because they are damaged. And not just a little bit, there's quite a lot that's missing there. But I would say that they are old, they are vintage pieces. Teacups. Okay. Okay, they're a moth or a bird. That's a red robin trying to get through my window. It is dark outside. Go to sleep, little bird. Oh, poor little bird, it's all tired out. It's freaking out. Anyway, we have got teacups. Little bird, go away. It's a red robin, it means that it's getting cold. I think winter is here. I'm not a big fan of winter, it's cold, and I don't do the coals very well. So, these are Yamato. Yamato? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Fine China, Japan. There we go. Sorry about that. I got a little bit distracted by the bird and the cat who was trying to attack the bird. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Yamato, or Yamato. Blue set. I don't know much about these. I did research them. But I couldn't find much. I couldn't find anything that's selling in this type. So I don't think that it's something that sells very well at all. I would say that this is a vintage set though. I'm guessing it's probably a set that was given to my Nana as a wedding gift, which was late 50s? Mid to late 50s, I think. I have got here, there are three. And another three. I'm pretty sure this was a full set. I think it's a six set of cups and saucers. I'll show you the saucers. Oh, that's not the saucers. Oh, I feel like I'm going to drop something here. Ooh. Okay. That's still not it. Where is it? Yes, it is. Here's the plates, which don't entirely look like they match, but they do. They have still got the symbol in the back, which although it's a different symbol. So I wonder whether maybe they, um, they were paired together. They weren't originally intended as a set, but they have been paired as a set. They still work together because the blues match. The blue of the teacup, put something down, so I have a hand or two to work with. The blue of that and the blue on the on the flowers do match. I know it doesn't quite look like it in that light, but it does. I promise you, it does. And I'm pretty sure they were the ones that all went together. I don't think there was anything else that was matched with that. I can find a six set here at the moment, but I'll let you know if I come across any more. I still think they're nice. They're a vintage set. They've got to be a vintage set because my Nana wouldn't have picked them up for herself. Um, 
they would have been given to her, I'm assuming, as a wedding gift. Possibly an engagement gift, but, you know. This is the Royal Series. Royal Series Victoria Fine China by Yamato Japan. That's as much as I know. If you know any more information, please put that in the comments so that I can also learn. Gracefully put these down. I'm developing quite a pile of stuff around me here. that later and when I do list them which I will list them online because I think they're worthwhile listing online I will definitely make sure to know just sorry I got distracted by what I just found um, I will definitely make note of how many there are in the set I just found some gorgeous little glasses These, I think, are quite old. And they're beautiful, look at them. They've got a gorgeous etched, gorgeous etched pattern into them. Or, I suppose they're not etched, they're, they're raised. I would say these are a juice cup. No markings on these, but I'm, I'm sure I've seen these before. I need to find them again put some information in about them because they are gorgeous. I would say that they're a juice cup because they're, they're quite small. Have a look at the top of that. What a fantastic shape. That is beautiful. I'm not hanging on to them because I won't use them and I don't have space to be keeping them. But they are stunning. They are really, really something special. Lisa. They are to me, I don't know whether they actually are, but they're pretty great. I'll be doing some research and maybe I'll add that into the video later. Feels like it's a little dish. I don't know what it is. It's a little dish. It has no markings on it. But this plate is quite pretty actually. It's got some detailing that's hard to pick up there. See it around the edge? It's got some really nice detailing. Ignore that little splodge there. That's just a bit of grot. I can't see any damage. The gold is all intact. It's quite nice. I think that might be worthwhile listing. I think that'd be worth it. That might make five dollars. Never know. Won't know unless you try. I'm pulling this face because I've just found a set of three shot glasses in three different colours. There's a pinky purpley colour, a green and blue. My Nana did not drink, <laughs> so I don't know why she had them. Probably because they're coloured and she thought they were pretty and probably picked them up from somewhere. I don't know that they're anything special, and this one has got a nasty crack in it. Uh, there it is. So I think these are going to go into the either the garage sale or possibly the op shop pile. Donate them back. Maybe somebody out there will will like them. I don't think that they're anything special. I don't know, especially with that green one being damaged, badly damaged. 
I don't think that's I don't think that's going to be listed online. Let me know if you think I should do otherwise. I have a shoe. It's a pink shoe with a flower. Let me look, does that have any damage? Not that I can see. I can't see any damage on that, actually. Looks like somebody had an oops with the, the, the glaze. There's a mark just up, up here where the green has bled through. Also, I'm not sure whether you can see the color is quite vibrant here, but it's not here. I don't know whether it was intended that way or because it's the same on both sides or if it's, um, if it's something that's happened to it. There are no marks on it, no sticker remnants that I can see anywhere. I suppose it's probably a planter, a small planter, but a planter. You could store other things in it too. I mean, it could be a nice makeup brush rest. Oh, not a rest, but a holder. I think this is worthwhile listing. Might make four or five dollars. I'm sure it's old. Like, this is quite old. I'll do some research, see if I can find anything more about that. Another little planter. At least I would say it's a planter. It's an urn or a, a possibly a vase, but I would say that it's intended as a planter because it's got quite a large opening. Probably a bit too large to be a to be a vase. It has a made in Taiwan sticker on it, so it's not really any. Come on. So it's not really anything particularly special. And this is not something that I would normally pick up to resell because it's nothing special. And it, you can see in the quality, it's got, it's got these funny marks that go through it and on the inside there's bits of, I suppose you'd call it slag, that um, sort of overspray, I suppose. But it would look nice in someone's house. It's, it is nice. It's a nice shape. It's pretty. Maybe I'll list that for sale. It might sell for $4. For $4, it's worth it. It gets it out of my house and it brings in a little bit of money. It keeps my business going. So that might be something to list. It won't make a lot of money. I know that it won't make a lot of money, but maybe it will make that. Maybe. A massive pile of newspaper, a massive pile of stuff all over me. You can't see that because it's off camera, but there is a big mound of stuff just under the view there. We're almost to the bottom of the box. I have got these little dishes. Interesting. These are made in Japan. Gold around the edge. Made in Japan on the bottom. But each of these has a different picture. Here's another one. There is some wear on these. I think they have been used. These probably were also wedding gifts to my nana. All of them have the Made in Japan symbol on the back. All of them have a different picture on the front. I suppose these would be considered a dessert bowl. The pictures on them don't really match with that theory though. Because they're, 
the reason I think that they might be a dessert bowl is because they're so shallow. That's another one. It appears that they all have fruit or vegetables on them, or a combination. Okay. I would say that they're they're vintage. I definitely think that they are vintage. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six of them. All together, same pattern, but not the same series, I suppose. Um, all have made in Japan. I think they might sell alright. They might go for unless I can find any more information about them. If I can find um, a manufacturer in particular that may set it into a different category. Um, I would say they probably sell for $15. I'd say around that mark. Maybe a little bit higher, might be a little bit less. Let's see what I can find out. Because they're vintage, they might go up that little bit higher. Anyway, I have more of the sauces for that Yamato set. Just looking at how many sauces there are. Oh, exciting news. They are trio sets. I also have the side plates. And this one has a pattern number on the back too. So if I can perch that on the edge of the table without breaking anything. There we go. There is also a, a pattern number. So there are six. There are six teacups, six sauces, and six side plates as well. So that's really great. That's important. That will bump the price up a little bit. I don't know how much they would make though. Like As I said, I couldn't find any examples of this, even this style in this brand selling. So they might not go for much at all. They might go for the whole set for $10. Maybe it'll be $20. I don't think it would be more than, say, $25 to $30 for the set, especially taking into consideration the postage. Because there's a whole set, it will take some packaging. But I will list them nonetheless. They are nice, they are vintage, they're pretty. Anyway, um, that's all that's in this box. Let me see if I can find a couple more things. I found another box. This one is much smaller and it doesn't have as many items in there, but I know that there are some cool things in there because there are some things in there that I can't decide if I want to keep them or not. Let's start at the top. Sorry for all the newspaper noise. Little glass bowl. I don't think that this is anything special. I don't think that it's worth anything. I probably won't list this online because there's only one bowl. If it were a set, then I would consider, uh, then I would definitely put, be putting them online. But because there's only one, at least I think there's only one, it's probably not worth it. It's a pretty bowl, but I don't, know, I don't think it would be up into the $5 mark where I would like for it to be to be selling online. Probably a garage sale item. We'll see. I'm saying that a lot in this video. And the last one. Look at this. Isn't this spectacular? It is glass. It is quite deep. It is a dish. It does have a bit of scratching here around around the bottom there, but not too bad. Like that's still workable. That's still a workable dish. I I won't keep this one. I will pass this along. I will list this. 
I don't know whether it's considered depression glass because that's more of an American thing and I don't know that we have an equivalent of what that's called here in Australia. If somebody knows the answer to that, please let me know in the comments below. But it's nice. It's not crystal, it is just glass. But it's pretty awesome. That's probably $10, maybe $15. It's pretty spectacular. Gently down on the floor. Look at this blue. I love this blue. This is one of the pieces that I can't decide if I want to keep it or not. I like it. I like it quite a lot and unfortunately it has damage to the handle which makes it like quite a bit of damage to the handle both at the base here and there and I'd say it's been repaired probably yeah glued back together and not glued back together very well if this were in good condition made in Italy this could be worth, who knows, I don't know if it's Murano, it could be Murano, I don't think it would have a Made in Italy sticker if it were Murano, scrap that, still, Made in Italy, this could have been worth $40, could have been worth $40, but it's very damaged. So it might be worth $5, if that. So do I sell it or do I keep it for myself? I think it's cool, but I don't know where I would put it. I have a very nice display cabinet here in the kitchen, but my mum's not a very big fan of this. And my mum, I, I live with my mum. She's not a big fan. I don't think it would go down very well if I put it in her display cabinet in her kitchen. Yeah. This is another buzz. I love this shape. I love the shape of these vases. And this is very pretty. It's an art glass vase. I, I'm not very good with, with telling if it's something particularly special or not. It's not just a flat color and it doesn't have an even pattern. So it might be something quite special. Maybe not. I'll do some research and find out what it is. This is another one of those pieces. Don't know whether to sell it or not. I mean, I, I really like it. <laughs> But it's probably a bit out there for my, my decor taste. Mm. I'll probably just end up selling it. But it, if I can find more information about it, it could be worth more, but it might be worth $5. I would be happy with $5 for this. I think it is nice. It will be listed. Ooh, we're getting so far out in the pile that you can see that. Last item. I can't remember what this is. It's a jug. It has the name M... Torella, I think, on the base. Let's see if we can pick that up. See in the no, no. see in the center there. I think that says M Torella. I don't know what the letters say around the outside edge. What does that say? 
A Y N E R S. I don't know what that is. I will look into that. It's very dirty, it's very dusty, but it is hand painted. It's hand painted, it's pretty. I quite like this. I'd be tempted to keep this, but I probably don't have space for it. And I don't need to keep it. I have, I've seen this, I have enjoyed it, and I'm happy to pass it on. Maybe $5, maybe $8, Maybe 10 to 15 if I can work out what these names are on the bottom. Definitely hand painted so that it's got that going for it. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this mystery unboxing. We've come across some really cool stuff. If you saw the last video, we had the gold set, which I'm hoping that will do quite well. I was talking to my mum about it and she said she suspects that it's a wedding present for my, my grandparents. So that puts it at 50s. Same with the, the dessert plates and the dessert, um, dessert glasses. These ones here. If you didn't see the last video, do tune in to have a look because there was some cool stuff in here as well. Um, Anyway, I hope you are all well and staying safe. Um, I think there's some good stuff in here. There's definitely some not so good stuff and some things that would have been good but are damaged. So that makes it a little less good. Um, anyway, I will see you again soon. Take care now. Bye.